So Mike, talk about this event here at the ballpark today and how this materialized. Well, it really materialized because we realized a couple of years ago that we had a lot of folks who have left the Cleveland area. Um, they either were supporters of ours uh, financially or volunteers. Uh, we also have some folks who um, are parents of our existing residents, and they found that when they moved away, they uh, left uh, their children in our care because of the gold standard that Hattie Lardlam has become. And so um, we decided to maybe try to do a little friend raising and fundraising, and we did this last year, and it was a nice success. And this, this year it's an even bigger success, and with the help of Cleveland Indians Charities and folks like you, uh, the radio folks, media folks, it's uh, hopefully going to continue to grow. And next year we get 150 or 200 people here so that people know what, what it is that Hattie Lardum is all about. Well, our mission is to, to provide people with comfort, joy, and achievement. Our vision is also to provide the services the, the type of quality the, uh, services that people need to be able to dream and achieve. Both people with, uh, with disabilities as well as their family members. As we look at that as an entire unit, they're a whole family. It's not just the person with disabilities that we help. Well, certainly this program here today at Goodyear Ballpark, there's so many connections. Right. When you talk about Akron, Arizona, Goodyear Ballpark, it, it seems like it's just a, a, a perfect marriage to bring the folks from Ohio, Phoenix together for your common cause. Well, it is, and and, and when we met with uh, Bob DiBiasio, the Indians Charities, he was enthusiastic about uh, us getting it started last year, and uh, we're more enthusiastic as we go forward. We keep getting new ideas. Uh, just a little while ago, I was we were talking with Rick Manning, and he was talking about what the you know great ballparks, this bar park, the Arrows Park. You know, Cleveland, the uh, East Lake Captains, just you know how, how the Indians have, and, and North, Northern Ohio have really, um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, grown together. So it, it's it's a good thing, and I think we have the ability to partner, even though they're not necessarily in the disabilities area. We can partner with them and and, per, and provide good for both. We're looking at how we can develop more and more of the community-based services that people want. So, for instance, with the cafes, with the vending, the baking, all those type things, those are social enterprise agencies. They're all nonprofits, but they provide employment and training to people with disabilities. So they they don't don't necessarily stay with us. We'll help them get jobs with other employers in the community, whether it be a restaurant, whether it be a bakery, whether it be a coffee shop, anything like that. So we're doing a lot more vocational training and incubator business startups than we've ever done in our past uh, almost 50 years.